Hey there, movie fans. Welcome back to Yusuf Reacts, where we bring you the latest reviews and deep dives into all things cinema. Today, we're talking about the electrifying sequel to 2019's hit superhero film Shazam, Fury of the Gods. So, grab your capes, and let's dive in. Shazam, Fury of the Gods continues the story of teenager Billy Batson, who transforms into the adult superhero Shazam, played by the charismatic Zachary Levi. This time, Billy and his foster family face off against some formidable new FOs, the daughters of Atlas. Played by the incredible Helen Mirren, Lucy Liu, and Rachel Zegler. The movie kicks off with Billy and his foster siblings embracing their superhero alter egos. But things quickly take a turn when the daughters of Atlas arrive on Earth, seeking revenge and aiming to reclaim their stolen magic. What follows is a thrilling battle to save the world, filled with humor, heart, and, of course, plenty of lightning bolts. One of the standout aspects of Shazam, Fury of the Gods is its cast. Zachary Levi once again nails the balance between superhero swagger and teenage awkwardness, making Shazam a relatable and fun character. Asher Angel, who plays the young Billy, continues to bring depth to the role, portraying the internal struggle of a kid trying to find his place in the world. And let's not forget our villains. Helen Mirren as Hespera, Lucy Liu as Calypso, and Rachel Zegler as Anthea bring a new level of intensity and gravitas to the film. Their performances add a darker, more serious tone that complements the movie's overall light-hearted nature. Visually, Shazam, Fury of the Gods is a treat. The special effects are top-notch, especially during the action sequences and magical battles. The creative use of lightning and other supernatural elements really makes the film pop on the big screen. From the majestic landscapes to the intricate designs of the mythical creatures, the movie's visual effects team did an outstanding job bringing this fantastical world to life. One of the things that made the first Shazam movie so beloved was its perfect blend of humor and heart and fury of the gods continues this tradition. The script is filled with laugh-out-loud moments, many of which come from the banter between Billy and his superhero siblings. But beyond the laughs, the film also explores deeper themes of family, responsibility, and identity. Billy's journey is as much about understanding his powers as it is about understanding himself and his place within his foster family. The film continues the story of teenage Billy Batson who, upon reciting the magic word Shazam, is transformed into his adult superhero alter ego, Shazam. Bestowed with the powers of the gods, Billy Batson and his fellow foster kids are still learning how to juggle teenage life with their adult superhero alter egos. When a vengeful trio of ancient gods arrives on Earth in search of the magic stolen from them long ago, Shazam and his allies get thrust into a battle for their superpowers, their lives, and the fate of the world. Two years after Thaddeus Savannah's defeat, Hespera Helen Mirren, the oldest daughter of Atlas, who has elemental abilities, and Calypso Lucy Liu, the middle daughter of Atlas, who has the power of chaos, two of the daughters of the Titan Atlas, break into the Acropolis Museum in Athens, Greece to steal the wizard's broken staff, the staff can channel the guilt of all gods. They take it to the wizard Jimin Hounsou, imprisoned in the god's realm, and force him to repair the staff and reactivate its powers. In Philadelphia, Billy Batson, Zachary Levi and his Shazamily of foster siblings save people on the collapsing Benjamin Franklin Bridge, but are called out for its destruction. The foster siblings all got their own superpowers after killing the seven demons, who were conjured when Wizard died. The group is drifting apart at home as they grow up and have their own personal interests, in particular the eldest girl. Mary Grace Caroline Curry Billy's mature and academically driven older foster sister, who resents that her secret life as a superhero has prevented her from going to college. Billy is worried about being kicked out of the Vasquez family when he ages out of the foster system. Eugene Choi Ross Butler and Ian Chen Billy's younger foster brother who is an obsessive gamer and 
Darla Dudley Megan Good and Faith Herman Billy's good-natured younger foster sister. In a dream, the wizard warns Billy about the daughters, prompting the Shazamali to begin researching them. The wizard says that the barrier between the worlds has been brought down and the daughters of Atlas will attack Earth soon. The foster siblings find that the daughters guard the Tree of Life, which grows golden apples. That contain the seeds of life which gave birth to their realm. The tree is protected by a dragon. They also find that the Titan Atlas forged the staff with magical powers to give and take away superpowers from anyone. The Council of Magic stole the staff from Atlas and used it to take away Atlas's powers. The staff had the power of seven gods Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury. Then the wizards used the staff to encase the god realm in a magical sphere, sealing it forever. When Shazam broke the staff to stop Savannah from doing bad stuff with it, he broke the magical sphere around the god realm, thus freeing the daughters of Atlas. Freddie Freeman Jack Dylan Grazer and Adam Brody Billy's physically disabled foster brother, who is a fan of superheroes, still bullied at school, falls for a new girl named Anne Rachel Zegler. The youngest daughter of Atlas, who has reality manipulation abilities, to whom he shows off his superhero self. Hespera and Calypso arrive with the staff and steal Freddy's powers, and Anne is revealed to be their youngest sister, Anthea. Billy and the Shazamili attempt to save Freddy, but the daughters kidnap him and place an indestructible dome around the city, trapping everyone inside. Freddy is imprisoned with the wizard in the god's realm. The daughters reveal that they want revenge because the wizard killed their father. Meanwhile, the Shazamali enter the Rock of Eternity, where they encounter a sentient pen named Steve, which they use to draft a letter to Hespera as a negotiation for Freddy's release. Anthea likes Freddy and protects him from her sister's wrath during his time at the God Realm. Billy meets Hespera, and, while the meeting is initially cordial, she and Calypso soon fight the Shazamali. Hespera reveals her plan to take back the powers each of the foster siblings and use the staff to restore the powers of magic to the god realm. Pedro D., J., Cotrona and Joven Armand Billy's older foster brother, who is openly gay, shy and sensitive, loses his powers during the fight, while Hespera is captured and taken to the rock. Hespera easily breaks out and steals the golden apple, the seed of the tree of life. Meanwhile, Freddy and the wizard attempt to escape the god's realm. With a sympathetic Anthea's help, just as Hespera returns with the apple. The daughters argue as Hespera and Anthea want to use the apple to revive their realm. While Calypso wishes to plant it on Earth to destroy it. Freddy steals the apple but is discovered. Billy and the Shazamali show up, and Freddy reacquires his powers. Billy and the Shazamali emerge with the wizard in the Vasquez home, where they reveal their secret identities to their foster parents. Calypso appears with a dragon named Ladon to acquire the apple. All but Billy lose their powers in the skirmish, while Calypso retrieves the apple and uses it to plant the tree at Citizens Bank Park, which spawns monsters to attack the city. Hespera and Anthea object to their sister's destructive plan, but Calypso mortally wounds Hespera and depowers Anthea. Billy, in despair, asks the wizard to revoke his powers, but the wizard assures him he is a true hero who is worthy of them. Heeding the wizard's words, Billy FLIs off to stop Calypso. While the Shazamali enlists the help of unicorns Darla lures the unicorns from the underworld to the earth using skittles to fend off the other monsters. Billy persuades a dying Hespera to help him stop Calypso. Realizing the dome reacts violently to his lightning, Billy lures Calypso to the park while Hespera shrinks the dome to contain them. Billy's plan is to overload the staff with lightning and make a bomb that explodes and kills everything inside the dome. Billy fights Calypso and Ladon before killing them both by overloading the staff with electricity. Destroying the tree and Calypso's army with them, at the cost of his own life. Hespera acknowledges Billy as a true god before succumbing to her wounds. Anthea takes Billy's grieving family to the god's realm for his burial. Diana Prince Gelgadic, the last living being with godly powers, appears and repairs the staff. 
imbuing it with her power and using it to revive the god's realm, restore Anthea's powers, and resurrect Billy. Billy in turn uses the staff to restore his sibling's powers. The Shazamali rebuild their home while Anthea and the wizard take up residence on Earth. In a mid-credits scene, Amelia Harcourt, Jennifer Holland, and John Economos, Steve A.G., attempt to recruit Billy into the Justice Society on behalf of Amanda Waller. In a post-credits scene, a still-incarcerated Savannah Mark Strong encounters Mr. Mind David F. Sandberg once again, infuriated that he has not begun enacting their plan. The sequel takes us through the Philadelphia fiasco, where Billy and fellow foster kids are enjoying their superhero days in their annoying childish manner. Enters the three daughters of Atlas who wants to take back their powers stolen from them and wreak havoc in the human realm. It is up to the Philly fiasco to be the champions to beat the goddesses and save the realm. What works is the humor despite the teens being annoying enough. Philly still is going through the imposter syndrome, trying to figure out where he fits in. The action set pieces are elaborate and are entertaining for most parts of it. The screenplay checks off all the stuff a comic book sequel needs and the dull moments are lesser than anticipated. What doesn't work are the weak villains. Though Lucy Liu makes the best of what she can with her riding the dragon in the third act, the trio however come out as bland. I mean they are goddesses who get overwhelmed by a group of kids. Add to this, Zachary Levi as Shazambali is less fun and more desperately trying to be funny. His character didn't fully work for me. Overall, Shazam, Fury of the Gods is a worthy sequel that delivers on the promise of the original while expanding its universe in exciting ways. With a stellar cast, breathtaking visuals, and a story that's both humorous and heartfelt, it's a must-watch for superhero fans of all ages. So, what did you think of Shazam? Fury of the Gods, did it live up to your expectations? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to Usof Reacts for more movie reviews and content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.